CES 2017 coverage is brought to you by MSI and the new Z270 chipset, and by EVGA, our trusted graphics card partner. It's that time of year again, guys, CES 2017. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna see what we can find. But we're gonna, the goal here is to kind of give you a look and feel of what it's about to be at the Consumer Electronics Show. This is where some of the world's most innovative tech is debuted, and we're gonna walk around, get lost, which is the best, well, I'm gonna get lost. You guys are always telling me to get lost. But we're gonna do it at CES, which is really cool. So let's go see what we can find. Come on, come on. I think I might have just seen one of the coolest pieces of tech I've seen yet on the showroom floor, and it's a collaboration between Intel and Oakley. Now, Intel is not new to the wearable scene, but they've teamed up with Oakley to bring you a piece of wearable that's going to give you telemetry on various types of sports, like jogging, running, and cycling. You guys know I'm a cyclist, and I'm doing the best I can to try and monitor all of the miles, the climbs, the uh, suffering score, the heart rate. And now having all of this built into sunglasses, sunglasses are very similar to ones I already own, is a big deal because they have a built-in Bluetooth connection to whatever computer you're running on your smart device and headphones built into them like earbud style. And you can run them independently or have both of them in your ear at the same time, but it's also voice activated. So if you want to know what your current segment speed is or what your performance is, it will tell you in real time. Messing around with a computer mounted to your handlebars is not only cumbersome, but it's also dangerous to take your hands off your handlebars when you're moving at full speed. Earlier this year, I took a look at the LG B6P, which is an amazing OLED TV or organic LED. Now, it meets all the standards that you expected, HDR10, Dolby HDR, but what we're looking at here behind me is actually Sony's version of an OLED panel. So now we're starting to see some competition in the OLED space, which is huge, because that's going to allow pricing to start coming down. And because of that, now you're gonna have more options in the industry. Now this one also has a really unique design where the back, what looks like kind of a leaning stand, is actually a subwoofer. It is a subwoofer built into the flat panel TV, which is great because normally when you have a thin form factor TV, you don't get good sound to go along with it and you're forced with some sort of an external audio solution. But you might actually have sound on this TV that's worth talking about with a built-in subwoofer. Now, if you want to mount it on the wall, it just collapses on itself and then you use the uh, Bravia accessories to mount it onto wall mounts. And I don't have any details about whether or not it's proprietary or not, like uh, LG had earlier last year, or even in 2015 rather, but we gotta wait because this is super secret. They wouldn't give me any details. They wouldn't give me any of the NITS information. They wouldn't tell me any details about the OLED technology they're using. So it's one of those situations, once again, at CES where we have to learn more about it later in the year. But I thought it was worth talking about because I have never seen a subwoofer built in to an ultra thin flat panel TV. And with the subwoofer on the back folded in, it's about as thick as a standard LCD TV when they first launched uh, with flat panel tech.
You guys know I want to take my reviews to the next level, so I wandered over here to the FLIR booth where they actually just handed me out a FLIR 1 with a lightning connector. And what this does is this allows me to connect a FLIR camera to my smartphone, turning my smartphone into an uh, infrared imaging camera. So now I can start looking at temperature differences on PCBs and motherboards, graphics cards, whatever, uh, water loops even, so that we can start doing more in-depth testing where you have a visual representation of what's happening with the temperatures and not just me telling you it's 50C. 50C doesn't mean anything if you don't know what's happening around it. So we can see how much that 50C is affecting the neighboring parts and components on your PCB overclocking. We can see visual temps on VR on motherboards. I'm really excited about incorporating this into my review lineup. So yeah, this is actually not that expensive either. I believe it's about $250. This is already on market. It's not one of those. We have to wait till later to see it. But it uh, also supports lightning cable as well as micro USB. So you can turn any smartphone into a forward-looking infrared. That is pretty awesome. Okay, cases. Man, it's hard to shop for a case, I'll tell you. But we're over here at Inwin right now checking out some of the latest that they have to offer. And this is the Tau 2.0. Inwin has come a long way in the years that they've been around. And the Tau 2.0 is kind of like their, this is what the best we have to offer is to the community. It's got two 360 radiator support. It's got touch sensors on the front for the buttons, not actual buttons, they're touch sensors on there. And all of the glass on here is beveled glass, it's diamond cut, it is mirrored as well. So when the system is on, if it's lit inside, you can see inside the system, but as soon as you turn it off, it turns into a mirrored finish, and not just a blacked out piece of tempered glass. All these angles and things on there make it look absolutely phenomenal. Availability and pricing on this is still not announced, but you can definitely assure yourself that a premium product like this is going to carry a premium price tag. So we'll be looking for that here, hopefully in Q1, uh, but again, no hard ship date on that. So we'll keep, we'll keep an eye out. I rarely talk about fans, but Inwin is showing something here that I find very, very interesting. They have a new fan coming out here called the Aurora. It's a daisy chained modular system. And they actually are selling this as a kit. It comes with three fans, a remote control, the control box, and two LED strips. Now what's the big deal about that, we'll check this out. It has software that you can use inside your system to control it if you want, USB connected to the breakout box here, but it also has a remote control that you can use to change things like the different modes that are in there, Fan speed is also controlled on here. You can turn your fans up and down. It's got this little rocket ship button, rocket ship button, so that when you push that, the fans, regardless of whatever mode you're in, are going to ramp up to their fastest speed. So that's almost like the uh, go baby go button, if you will. But you can control the brightness of these with the remote control as well and you can put it in auto mode. There are some pretty crazy modes on this. I mean, if you guys want to check out different sorts of wave patterns, colors, uh, you name it, there's a lot of options on this. Tons and tons of modes. As you can see, we got a little bit of a wave effect going there. But the best part about this is the fact that these are daisy chained. So no longer do you have to run an individual fan cable to every single fan. Say you're doing a radiator, uh, says it's got 480 rad. There's four fans, four power cables, and unless you're gonna be cutting those and soldering them together, and then they're only good for that one particular situation, you can now hook your fan up, have your cable going to the fan, and then daisy chain them with these small cables. And in the kit, it also includes the extensions as well, so you can get the first fan plugged in wherever you want it. This is gonna be a huge deal when it comes to water cooling and keeping things tidy in your system. Now we're looking at maybe a Q2 launch on this. It's the worst part about CES is some of the stuff we're looking at we can't get right now. So things like pricing, again, have no information for you on that. But I can tell you they do come as a kit. Don't know anything about the bearing that's in there, but they also have a rubber shock mount on the sides of the fans, reducing vibration and such like that. I can't tell you anything about volume of them either. We're in such a loud environment, I have no idea how loud they are. But you can bet your butt, I'm gonna be checking these out in the future.
is so much to bring you. I guys, hope you guys kind of like the walkthrough there, the sort of a look and feel of CES. There's always so much to cover. Once again, a huge thank you to our sponsors for bringing us here for CES 2017, MSI, my trusted motherboard supplier, and as well as EVGA, my trusted graphics card partner.